on va prendre quelques We'll be fielding some questions. There's one here to Rosa Maria Paya. You mean that Cuban is now moving to democracy and an open society. You can take the microphone, yeah. Oh, you can speak in Spanish if you if you want. Do you prefer to speak in Spanish or in English? We'll see. We will see. Okay. I think that these new reforms actually improve some sector of the society, but this do not mean that a Cuban if or the Cuban government is actually opening a process of a democratic process. I think that my presence here maybe means that uh, they want to the international community think that they are doing exactly that, that they are being open. But their repression and the, the violation of the human rights, that are, which are realities in my country, have doesn't change. So I cannot believe in this, in this change. I think that is a fraud change. And I think that we are working for legal changes. I think that people support that legal changes. We are working and we have delivered a, a proposal to make that, that change possible. The change that we believe at the change that Cubans want is the change who recognize the rights of all, of all Cubans without exclusions, without privilege. And this has now happened, still. And another question for you. Uh, do, you plan to, do you plan to stay in Europe or do you want to come back in Cuba? I want to come back. When? In a few weeks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. A question to Mrs. Randa Cassis. Uh, why, in your opinion, why are the international community not helped to end the war yet? As I said, this is a very complex subject. We don't have alternatives in Syria. We have a number of elements in Syria which are not part of the revolt. We have the Islamists, uh, we have the issue of financing and the, what, uh, the role that Qatar is playing. Uh, Qatar is much bigger, which is a greater game. Uh, Qatar has uh, the reins, or holding the reins of power concerning what is happening in Syria. So we can understand the reticence, the hesitancy of the international community, the country, there are other countries involved, Russia and Iran that are supporting it, and I'm not going to talk about the role that uh, China is playing because they're not playing a, a great role. But Iran, how can you say that Iran is involved in the Syrian uh, issue? Well, I think, personally, This is a, a, a Sunnite uh, Shiite uh, conflict at the basis, and there is no desire to have the Shiite uh, spread their influence in this region. So, the conflict, first of all, we've seen this in Bahrain, the Shiite who rose up against the Sunni. Uh, uh, power and we see this conflict uh, which is a long standing one between uh, Shiites and Sunnis and we cannot we have to think of 
the fact that it's rather a question of interests. It's not a really a religious problem. So it is in Iran's interest to keep the Sunnis Sunnis far from power. Uh, that's the role that Iran is playing. I know they're giving advice to uh, Ashar al-Assad uh, uh, himself. Uh, he is very stubborn. He is not uh, applying all the advice that has been given to him. But we do have uh, sources that give us information from within and who tell us domestically that he, he is being protected. And a lot of young people are being sent to Iran for training, for military training. So Iran is playing in, and, and wants to play a role. The question is, will that be the same Iran as today? That's the question that we should be raising. In Tibet, is it, should we boycott Chinese products? to help Tibet. You know, even um, within uh, the uh, Tibetan community, uh, there are different schools of thoughts. Um, you know, yesterday I was asked on the Swiss uh, news channel whether we were opposed to the free trade agreement between Swiss and China. And what I did say is that we are not opposed to commercial relations between foreign countries and China. What we are opposed to is compromising one's principles on freedom and human rights for commercial interest. And I think that's a very uh, important uh, distinction to make. Thank you very much. Thank you to all, thank you to everybody for this session. And uh, it's time now to close this session and have a good afternoon to everybody. Merci.